Hello everyone, my name is Jason and today I'm going to be showing you how to preserve autumn leaves. So during the autumn, everybody knows that leaves are really bright flashy colors, right? They're usually orange, red, yellow, there's lots of that color going around. But by the end of October, that flash really starts to fade and they start looking like uh, some of these leaves I've got right here. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to keep those leaves, those bright colored leaves from the autumn lasting a lot longer than um, than they usually would. Um, so all the way through the winter, for example. <clears throat> so today, that's going to be what we're talking about today. So we're going to go ahead and start off with uh, what, what kind of uh, materials you need to be able to do this. So you're going to need a beaker with water. You're going to need glycerin, which you can find in the soap making section, soap making section at craft stores. Uh, a couple of cake uh, baking can or pans right here, and uh, assortment of leaves and some paper towels. Um, I should mention right now I'm doing this video in January so all of the leaves um, are dead. They're all this brown color on the ground. Um, ideally you should be doing this in October or September um, when the leaves are really those really bright flashy colors like the reds and the oranges like I said. So just uh, to let you know that. Um, what you're going to want to need, what you're going to want to do first step is to take um, two uh, parts of water and mix it with one part of glycerin. So the part could be um, anything. So uh, basically what I mean by two parts of water and one part of glycerin is that you have double the amount of water you have in glycerin. Um, then you have glycerin. So for today, what I'm going to be doing, my example, I'm going to be using 250 milliliters of water mixed with 125 milliliters of glycerin. So that way it's uh, double the water. So you're going to want to dump the water into this cake pan use the graduations like this measuring part um, on the side to uh, measure it out. As you can see, um, I have right here, let's let the water settle first, it's uh, 250 milliliters, okay? So mix it there. That's just dumping it in the bucket, dump it in this pan here. And then you're gonna wanna mix in 125. Um, my example, I'm mixing 125 milliliters of glycerin. It really could be any amount. You just need um, enough of the mixture to cover all the leaves you're going to do. And if you have a lot of leaves, you can do them in batches as well. Okay, so I'm going to mix um, 125. I'm going to face this towards myself here. 125 milliliters of glycerin. Okay. So about right there. So as you can see, we have 125 milliliters of glycerin in this uh, in this beaker now. Okay, so we're going to dump that in here, mix that in the water. So if you'll you'll notice um, when you dump it in, the mixture won't mix very well. So you just use a spoon, like I got this wooden spoon here, and just mix it around to mix the glycerin and the water together. I'm just trying to make sure I get it all in there. Okay, there we go. So now I'll take this spoon and just mix all that glycerin and the water together. It kind of looks like this oil on the bottom of the pan. Um, but then once, once you mix it at all, it'll, uh, that'll change. It'll look, uh, it'll look good. So basically when you dump it in together, um, you can really tell like which parts of glycerin and which parts of water. But when you're done mixing it together, it'll look the same, like the same uh, solution. Okay, so now that we're about done mixing it together, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the next thing you're gonna wanna do. Okay. So all you're gonna to need to do now is take the um, collection of leaves you've collected. Like I said, mine are, are dead ones from January um, because I'm doing this during the middle of winter. Um, but what you'll do is you'll just stick them in here. And when you're doing this, make sure that they're fully covered in the solution. Um, so that way it'll be um, effective and it'll cover all of them. Make sure that you uh, cover all the leaves while you're doing this. 
Okay, so I'm just going to put four or five in here. And then what you'll do after that is you'll place a weighted cake pan on top of it. So basically the second one right here, you'll place this on top of it so um, that the leaves will stay in place in the solution under, underneath it. And then you'll place something weighted, like something like the, maybe the, this olive oil here, you'll just place it on top uh, to weight that top of the pan down. And the next thing you're gonna wanna do, uh, the last step is just to wait um, three to five days um, for the preservation to kick in. And what that means is um, <clears throat> the leaves will look really shiny, like as you can see, I'll uh, get closer. This leaf is shiny um, compared to this, um, this really dull leaf that has not been preserved yet. It's a lot shinier. And also it's a lot more bendable. As you can see, this leaf has like no problem bending anywhere at all because this leaf has been preserved. This leaf, however, will crunch. You see, this leaf will crunch. This one will not, no matter how hard I bend it. That's how you, you can tell. Um, if you're not quite there yet, if it's still bending for, or it's still cracking, for example, just leave it in there for a couple more days until it's fully uh, been preserved. Um, so yeah, so here's some, some more examples of that. This is a preserved leaf, and these leaves have not been preserved yet. So, yeah, thank you for your time.